Welcome to Maverick's World. I'm your host, Maverick Wade. This is the complete Mattel Jurassic World Mainline Dinosaur Collection Series, where we are taking a look at every single species and every single variant of every single species that Mattel has ever made to date. We are going through this entire list reverse alphabetically, from Z all the way to A. This is episode three, we are on V, and without further ado, may I present to you the Velociraptors. Velociraptor, meaning swift thief, is a genus of dromaeosaur theropod dinosaur that existed approximately 83 to 70 million years ago during the latter part of the Cretaceous period. The real life Velociraptor was small, reaching a length of about 1.8 meters or 6 feet and weighing around 45 kilograms or 100 pounds. The real life adult Velociraptors only grew up to about half the size of the raptors portrayed in the Jurassic Park Jurassic World films. Deinonychus was actually the model used for the raptors in the Jurassic Park Jurassic World films. Deinonychus from the Greek language meaning terrible claw was a carnivorous dinosaur dinosaur species from the early Cretaceous period. Deinonychus measured about 2.5 meters or 8 feet in length and weighed around 45 to 60 kilograms or 100 to 150 pounds. To date, Mattel has produced a total of 65 Velociraptor variants and 5 eggs. Of the 65 mainline Velociraptor variants and 5 eggs produced, 3 Velociraptors and 2 eggs still have yet to be released giving us an actual total of 62 mainline Velociraptors and 3 eggs released as of the recording of this episode. Out of the 65 mainline Velociraptor variants released, there are 17 original base molds. The 17th being the Epic Attack, which is not out yet. So what we have here are the 16 base molds that are currently released. We're going to take a look at each of the base molds and their variants in the order that they were released. Let's go. Jumping right in, we have mold number one. Mold number one is none other than Infant Baby Blue. Infant Baby Blue came in the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Owen and Baby Blue figure pack. Now this figure sometimes gets confused for the Minis line version of Blue, but I can assure you it is completely different. As you can see, the Infant Baby Blue that came with the Owen figure pack has some very exaggerated baby features and the Minis line version of Blue has some adult looking features clearly on a miniaturized body. Mold number two. Mold number two is Attack Pack Z. The base mold is Blue V2 from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Attack Pack Figure Pack. This figure is identifiable by the glossy unpainted nails. This figure sports basic articulation in the legs, the arms, and of course the jaw. There's the scan code for you. Now in case you're wondering, I did use some masking tape for some of the figures just because I feel like it's a very nice hack to help them balance. The Attack Pack Z mold has 10 unique variants and is the largest variant group. V2 is from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Attack Pack Single Figure Pack and is identifiable by its bright orange body. V3 is also Blue V3 and comes from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Velociraptor Blue and Dimorphodon 2 pack. The identifiable feature of this Velociraptor is that it has unpainted, unglossed toe claws. V4 is from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Cole's exclusive Velociraptor Owen 2 Compsognathus and Gallimimus figure pack, identifiable by the awesome clay rid body. V5 is from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Legacy Collection, Jurassic Park Dino 5 pack, and Dr. Alan Grant bundle, identifiable by its bright orange eyes and its brownish looking gray, almost like a stone gray body. V6 is also Delta V1 and is from the 
Jurassic World Dino Rivals Attack Pack Figure Pack. Identifiable by its key line body. V7 is going to be the Alpha Female Velociraptor version one. And this figure is from the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Legacy Collection, Jurassic Park 3 figure pack along with Dr. Alan Grant and two eggs. This is a pretty rare figure right here and is identifiable by its cream, like vanilla white body and the Dalmatian like spotting of the gray on the back and the striping on the head. V8. V8 is our very first generic Jurassic Park themed Velociraptor and is from the Jurassic World Primal Attack Legacy Collection Isla Nublar Escape Set. This Raptor is unique and is identifiable because of the metallic green eyes and the awesome Jurassic Park paint job. V9 is from the Jurassic World Dino Escape Camp Cretaceous Sammy and Velociraptor figure pack. Identifiable by the bright orange eyes, the neon green on the back and the tail. V10, and this is also going to be Delta V3. This figure is from the Jurassic World Dino Escape Camp Cretaceous Raptor Squad figure pack. Identifiable by the light aqua green body and this awesome like washed out seaweed green. Mold number three is attack pack crouching. The base mold is a generic green raptor identifiable by its awesome forest green paint job with this very nice deep green accent on the back. Mold number three has a total of seven variants. V2 and also Echo V1. This figure is from the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Attack Pack Figure Pack. Distinguished by the light muted green body and the aqua green. V3. This figure is from the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Legacy Collection, Jurassic Park Velociraptor and Robert Muldoon Figure Pack. Identifiable by the lime green body and the brown accent on the back. V4 is from the Jurassic World Primal Attack Legacy Collection Isla Nublar Escape Set. Distinguished by its unique Jurassic Park style brown body and the metallic green eyes. V5 and Charlie V4. This figure is from the Jurassic World Dino Escape Camp Cretaceous Raptor Squad identifiable by its forest green body V6 and also Echo V3. This figure is from the Jurassic World Dino Escape Camp Cretaceous Raptor Squad figure four pack. Identifiable by the dark reddish brown body with the splash of cherry red all over the back and the dark gray striping. V7 is from Jurassic World Dino Escape Legacy Collection Jurassic Park 2021 SDCC exclusive final scene Ray Arnold and Velociraptor figure set. Identified by its light tan body, burnt umber wash, dark brown striping, and green metallic eyes. Mold number four. Mold number four is the jumping mold. The base mold is blue V4. This figure is from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Velociraptor Blue and Owen figure two pack identifiable by the electric blue striping running along the entire length of the body that is outlined by the visible white line. The action feature is jumping. Due to the action feature, this mold has zero leg articulation. The arms, however, can hinge all the way out and back in. They can swing up and go back down. The neck can do a full 360, can look up and look down, and the jaw can open and close. The tail cannot swivel, it is glued. V2 is from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Target Exclusive Six Pack Dino Bundle. Identifiable by the Graham Cracker brown body, the strikingly red eyes. V3 is from the Jurassic World 
Fallen Kingdom Legacy Collection, the Lost World Jurassic Park Single Figure Pack. Identifiable by the hot orange arms and the orange on the head. V4 is going to be from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Legacy Collection, Jurassic Park Dino 5 Pack, and Dr. Alan Grant Bundle. Identifiable by the aqua green body. V5 is from the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Savage Strike Figure Pack. Identifiable by its JP3 Mail Raptor feathering and the red on the snout and crest. V6 and Blue V8. This figure comes from the Jurassic World Primal Attack Savage Strike Figure Pack. Identifiable because it has next to no line outlining the blue striping and the blue striping is a little bit more muted in comparison to the first one that we looked at from this mold. V8 is from the Jurassic World Primal Attack Camp Cretaceous Savage Strike Figure Pack. Identifiable by the shockingly blood red body and the neon green striping. V9 comes from the Jurassic World Dominion Legacy Collection Jurassic Park 3 Figure Pack. This figure is identifiable because it is a JP3 Alpha Female Velociraptor. Mold number five. Mold number five is the Battle Damage Mold. The base mold is Blue V5 from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Battle Damage Figure Pack. Identifiable by its glossy painted nails. This figure sports some very nice articulation in the legs, outward hinge in the legs, and some very nice articulation in the arms and an outward hinge for the arms as well. And of course, a hinge joint for the neck, full neck swivel, and mouth opens up very wide. This is actually one of my favorite raptors, and the tail does not swivel, of course, it is glued, but the action feature is battle damage. V2 and Blue V6. This figure is from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Battle Damage Lockwood Ultimate Battle Set. Identifiable due to its bright yellow underbelly, unglossed nails, V3 is from the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Battle Damage Figure Pack. Identifiable due to its brown upper body and its yellow lower half. V4 is my most favorite raptor in my entire collection. V4 comes from the Jurassic World Primal Attack Battle Damage Figure Pack. Identifiable due to its very unique black dark grayish color and the black striping on the back. Here is the scan code for you. Mold number six. Mold number six is the Destructosaurus mold. This is actually one of my most favorite raptors in my collection. The metallic gold on the head. It has a built-in magnet in the top of the jaw. Articulation is limited. The head does not swivel from left to right, but it does go up and down. Jaw does close and open. The arms do swivel up and down. The legs do bend back and forth. There is no outward movement and the tail does not swivel. It's glued. And this Raptor, of course, is a one of one. Mold number seven. Mold number seven is the slashing mold. The base mold is Blue V7 from the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Savage Strike Figure Pack. This figure is easily identifiable because it is the only version of Blue in this slashing mold. The articulation is actually pretty good on this version of Blue. The legs go back and forth but also swivel outwards or hinge outwards. The arms hinge outwards as well and go up and down. The jaw articulates and the neck also swivels all the way around and hinges back and forth. The action feature is the slashing action with the arms. 
Mold number seven has a total of five variants. V2, Charlie V2. This figure is from the Jurassic World Primal Attack Savage Strike figure pack, identified by the four screen body and the dark green striping on the back. V3 and Delta V2. This figure is from the Jurassic World Primal Attack Camp Cretaceous Savage Strike figure pack, identified by its dark aqua green body and dark striping on the back. V4 is from the Jurassic World Primal Attack Camp Cretaceous Savage Strike figure pack, identified by its orange body and mid-brown striping. V5 is from the Jurassic World Dominion Legacy Collection, the Lost World Jurassic Park figure pack, identified by its reddish orange body and its creamy white underbelly and its dark reddish orange striping on the back. Mold number eight. Mold number eight is the hatchling mold. Mold number eight is a one of one. This mold can be found in the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Legacy Collection Jurassic Park 2019 SDCC Exclusive John Hammond with Eggs Figure Pack. So this is Egg V1. Mold number nine. Mold number nine is the Attack Pack A frame mold. It differs from the Attack Pack Z mold in that the leg, the front leg, is straight. The base mold is Charlie V1 from Jurassic World Dino Rivals Attack Pack Figure Pack. Charlie V1 is identifiable by the aqua green body and the dark aqua green body accent on the back. Does not have an action feature, sports some very limited articulation. The legs can go up and down, the arms can go back and forth, and the jaw open and close. The neck has zero articulation, and the tail cannot swivel. Mold number nine has nine variants and is tied for the second largest group. V2 Blue V9 from the Jurassic World Primal Attack Camp Cretaceous Ceratosaurus Clash Set. Identifiable due to its lack of white outline and its old style blue striping. V3 Charlie V3. This figure is from the Jurassic World Primal Attack Camp Cretaceous Ceratosaurus Clash Set. Identifiable due to its very unique forest green body. V4. This figure is from the Jurassic World Primal Attack Attack Pack Figure Pack. Identifiable due to the dark purple body and brown accent. V5. V5 is from the Jurassic World Dinoscape Camp Cretaceous Wild Pack Figure Pack. This figure is identifiable due to the light green body and dark greenish gray striping. V6 and Blue V10. This figure is from the Jurassic World Dino Escape Camp Cretaceous Yaz and Velociraptor Blue figure pack. Identifiable due to its light gray body, light gray nails with very little gloss and bright yellow underbelly. V7 and Blue V11. This figure comes in the Jurassic World Dino Escape Camp Cretaceous Raptor Squad figure pack. It's distinguishable by its glossy black nails and its bright underbelly. This figure was also repackaged in the Jurassic World Dino Escape Amazon exclusive Darius Velociraptor Blue and Ankylosaurus Bumpy Story Pack. V8 and Blue V12. This figure comes in the Jurassic World Dino Escape Camp Cretaceous Tyrannosaurus Rex Darius and Velociraptor Blue Story Pack. Identifiable by its unpainted, unglossed nails. V9 came in the Jurassic World Dino Trackers Legacy Collection Jurassic Park Risky Rescue Pack. Distinguishable by its Jurassic Park brown box. Here is Jurassic Park 3, Dr. Alan Grant, to show us Velociraptor eggs, V2 and V3.
Each egg is identifiable in that egg V2 is a little bit more pointy than egg V3, which is a little bit more rounded. These eggs are awesome, but if you're not careful, someone might confuse them for a Tic Tac. Here is all three mainline eggs in the nest together. As you can see, the SDCC exclusive egg is a little bit bigger than the other two eggs. It came with the Legacy Collection, Jurassic Park 3, Alan Grant. Cool. Thank you, Jurassic Park 3, Dr. Alan Grant. Mold number 10. Mold number 10 is the twisting mold. The base mold is a generic raptor from the Jurassic World Dino Escape Camp Cretaceous Fierce Force Bigger Pack. Identifiable by its very nice milk chocolate paint job on the back and the light vanilla cream paint job underneath. And you also see this very nice sprinkling running along the side to unite the two halves. This figure sports some pretty good articulation. The legs do go outwards and they of course go up and down and the arms do hinge outwards and they do go up and down and the neck does swivel all the way around and goes up and down and the jaw does hinge as well and the action feature is the swiveling twisting motion of the slash. Old number 10 has two variants. V2 this figure comes from the Jurassic World Dominion Legacy Collection, the Lost World Jurassic Park figure pack. This figure is identifiable due to its striking orange body and its dark striping. Mold number 11. Mold number 11 is the Ferocious Pack First Edition mold. The base mold is Blue V13 from the Jurassic World Dominion Ferocious Pack figure pack. V1 and Blue V13 was repackaged twice. Once in the Jurassic World Dominion and Yangchuanosaurus Velociraptor Blue and Owen figure pack, and then again in the Jurassic World Dominion Amazon exclusive four figure dinosaur starter set. This figure is identifiable thanks to the white line highlighting the blue line accent running along the head and back. This figure sports basic articulation and the legs can swivel up and down. The arms can go up and down and the head can swivel around and hinge up and down. And the mouth, of course, can open. This figure has no action feature. Mold 11 has four variants. V2 is from the Jurassic World Dominion Capture and Crush truck, identifiable due to its brown body and clay orange on the back. V3 and Blue V14. This figure comes in the Jurassic World Velociraptor Blue versus Atrociraptor Red figure two pack. This figure is identifiable because it has no white lines outlining the blue stripe. V4. This figure is from the Jurassic World Dominion Legacy Collection Jurassic Park Kitchen Encounter Story Pack. Identifiable due to its Jurassic Park 3 brown body and metallic green eyes. Mold number 12. Mold number 12 is the Ferocious Pack 2nd Edition Mold. The base mold is a avocado green Velociraptor from the Jurassic World Dominion, Dr. Ian Malcolm and Velociraptor Dino Figure 2 Pack. The figure is done up in a very nice light avocado green for the body with a very nice darker avocado green for the back with a lighter avocado green speckling. This mold is different from the first edition. The tails are molded differently. The legs are also molded differently and so are the bodies. And of course, it is a completely different head sculpt. The Ferocious Pack 2nd Edition mold sports limited articulation in the legs. They can swivel back and forth. The arms can also swivel back and forth. And the head, though, 
can swivel all the way around and it can hinge up and down and the jaw can open and close. The tail can also swivel all the way around. There is no action feature for this mold. Mold number 12 has two variants. V2 comes from the Jurassic World Dominion Ferocious Pack Figure Pack. Identifiable due to its strikingly red body and its cherry chocolate drizzle on the head and back. Mold number 13. Mold number 13 is the Juvenile Mold. The base mold is Beta V1 from the Jurassic World Dominion Owen Velociraptor Beta Human Dino Figure 2 Pack. Identifiable by the lighter cream underbelly. This figure sports very limited articulation in the legs. They can bend back and forth. The arms can hinge outwards and they can also swivel up and down. The head can move from left to right but cannot swivel all the way around and can hinge up and down and the jaw can open and close. Beta V2. Beta V2 comes from the Jurassic World Dominion Maisie Lockwood Lush Restores and Velociraptor Beta Human Dino Figure Pack. Identifiable due to its vibrant yellow underbelly. The V1 next to the V2. Mold number 14. Mold number 14 is the Extreme Damage Mold. The base mold is Blue V15. From the Jurassic World Dominion Extreme Damage Owen and Velociraptor Blue Pursuit Pack. Identifiable by the action feature and also the stellar paint job. The articulation in the legs is basic. The arms can hinge outwards and the head can swivel all the way around and can hinge up and down. And the jaw can open and the tail can swivel. Mold 14 has two variants. V2. V2 comes from the Jurassic World Dominion Extreme Damage Figure Pack. It's identifiable due to its striking arctic blue that runs along its head all the way down its back and goes to about halfway down the tail and then also its arctic white body. And as you can see, the action extreme damage feature really sticks out on this figure. Mold number 15. Mold number 15 is the Hammond Collection Velociraptor Mold. The base mold is a generic Velociraptor from the Hammond Collection Jurassic Park figure pack. This figure is easily identifiable by the stellar brown Jurassic Park paint job. This figure has no scan code on it. The jaw can open, the arms can hinge outwards and bend in all sorts of ways. The tail has a wire in it. The legs also can get pretty much any pose thanks to the ball joint in the feet, the hinge joint in the knees, and in the legs. And of course, the legs can hinge outwards. The head can swivel all the way around and has several points of articulation. Mold 15 currently has two variants with a third on the way. V2 comes from the Hammond Collection and is identifiable due to the Jurassic Park 3 male Velociraptor head sculpt as well as the tan markings on the legs and the white stripe on the gray body. This figure does not have a scan code, nor does any Hammond Collection figure for that matter. For those that enjoy displaying their dinosaurs, the Hammond Collection figures are an absolute dream, and the Hammond Collection Velociraptors can turn any scene into an absolute nightmare. Wicked! And here is Dr. Alan Grant to give us a look at mold number 16. Mold number 16 is the Hatchling V2 mold. 
Hatchling V2 is from the Hammond Collection Jurassic Park Dr. Alan Grant Human Figure Pack. Hatchling V2 is identifiable by its clay red body and the fact that it does not sit in an egg. Here is Hatchling V1 and V2 together. And Dr. Alan Grant also has a Velociraptor claw for us to see as well. Thank you, Dr. Grant. Mold number 17 has not been released as of the recording of this video. When it is finally released, we will be taking a look at it in a separate video. Now that we have seen every single mainline Velociraptor that Mattel has ever released to date, Let's get into some highly anticipated and awesome group shots. So everyone, hold on to your butts. For our very first group shot, we have all of the Jurassic Park themed Velociraptors. All of the Lost World Jurassic Park themed Velociraptors. All of the Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptors. All of the Velociraptor Charlies all of the Velociraptor Echoes, all of the Velociraptor Deltas. And here we have every single last Velociraptor Blue variant ever made by Mattel for the mainline to date. We have exactly 15 different blues with eight unique molds and two betas, which technically is a clone of blue. This is my top picks for the best assembled Jurassic World Raptor Squad. Here we have two of my most favorite Velociraptors alongside four other Terrible Claw Wilders. And finally, I present to you the complete Mattel Jurassic World Mainline Velociraptor Collection. This is every single mainline Velociraptor variant ever produced and released by Mattel to date all in one shot. I'm so grateful to have this collection and I think this looks awesome. Money. Ooh, Raptor eggs and babies. Ooh, money. Ooh. <laughs> I got eggs and a baby raptor. I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> and no one's gonna stop me. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> So, some final thoughts about our complete Mattel Jurassic World Mainline Velociraptor Collection. It took me about two years to discover, hunt down, and secure every last single Velociraptor variant. While it was a lot of work, if I had to go back and do it all over again, I definitely would, as this is one of the most awesome collections I have ever had in my life. If you would like to start, add to, or complete your Mattel Mainline Velociraptor collection, I can highly recommend going over to Amazon.com. I will leave links for as many of these figures as I can find in the description below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never have to miss out on any of the awesome content that will regularly be hitting Mavericks World. Thank you for tuning into Mavericks World. This has been your host, Maverick Wade. Until next time.